Essentially, we, we were working up at the North Pole earlier on uh, this year and we met an Italian uh, gentleman who'd had a go at this uh, a year ago and he basically sort of led us in on, on this sort of secret because it's not a particularly well-known area of the world. And then when we got back, we, uh, we looked into it and saw that it was one of the last real sort of challenges left. I mean, it's an epic challenge and so we thought we'd take the challenge okay. on. <laughs> so there you were, going along nicely, two-thirds yeah. of the way. What went wrong? We had a disastrous, um, bad luck, I suppose, it plays a big part in it, with the weather. We were tent-bound for three days in um, the worst storm of our journey. We had about 130, 140 kilometre winds constantly bombarding the tent, and we had, with that, incredible amount of snowfall, about three foot every six, seven hours, uh, which was just, you know, rising up as, as high as the tent and we'd have to dig it out and move the tent and um, it was a constant battle and then on the third day the tent just kind of gave in, one of the tent poles broke and then with the wind kind of whipping it at the same time and it became a complete game of survival from that point really. And, and take us through that, I mean what happened once, once the tent was damaged, there were still several days before you were finally picked up weren't there? Well yeah, I mean when, once the tent was torn, the tent is kind of your lifeline out there, the, the tent and the stove are, are everything. And once the tent was torn, we then had to sort of make a makeshift shelter. And I think surviving the night became the priority. Once we'd survived the night, we then had enough time to make a plan, talk to the team back in the UK and, and you know, start making an exit strategy. Uh, so we had to call in a helicopter to come and, and pick us up eventually. And in the midst of all this, Tucker, you found time to propose. What a romantic gesture. <laughs> yes, I know. It, it doesn't sound all that romantic in, on a, in a horrific storm on a glacier, but <laughs> nobody else had ever been there. It's uh, original. It's unforgettable. <laughs> exactly. It's unforgettable, yeah. yeah. Fantastic. And of course you said yes, Katie, and you're sporting a beautiful engagement ring there. That's fantastic. Very lucky girl. Very the, proud. <laughs> but you, you didn't have any doubts about saying yes, I suppose. No, he'd saved my life numerous times during that journey, so I think I owe it to him to say yes. Good for you, yeah. that's fantastic. It's lovely, lovely bit of news to come out of. But you're going to try again, aren't you? Yep, absolutely. We're back next year. Um, we're going we're gonna to make it next year, <laughs> absolutely unequivocally. We know that the technique that we're using will work, and we're going to just go back with a slightly stronger tent. And Fitter, it, fatter and faster as good well. Good luck with that, <laughs> and good luck with married life. And thank, thank you, you both much. for joining us on the programme. Yeah, fantastic. Fantastic. Thank you very much. <laughs>